Hey guys, Greg Medford from Medford Knife. Uh, daily video, a little knife uh, how-to show. Um, one of my uh, best customers bought the very original Fat Daddy, and uh, we're going to go through and uh, kind of bling it out for him a little bit, add some custom stuff to it, make it grippy. I'm kind of doing a little Art Deco, kind of Frank Lloyd Wright thing on the open side of the knife, and the, uh, the TFF1 original frame Fat Daddy, uh, it's got so much real estate on the side, it makes for some really big open space to do some pretty stuff with it. I like randomness in nature, so, uh, and I'm kind of used to be into fractal geometry and weird, weird stuff like that, so I'm actually doing some kind of random fractal geometry on the side of the uh, knife, which would be kind of cool. So if you want, you can pan in. You can take a look. Um, I already started here, and I'm getting ready to do the next step. These are random placed, random depth, unprogrammed, uh, uh, plunges. So here we go. Now, I say random, but boy, I sure think about it. Okay, decide where I want to go. I kind of like a little kind of postmodern. Reminds me of something you'd see at the Guggenheim or something. And the trick is to do these all in different heights. So that when you go through and smooth it out, you don't encounter any... Uh, you don't want to have them all the same height because then they have a kind of monotonous look to them. You know, how do you make how do you make circles look random, you know? I always make sure I do an XY change. And you know, guys are gonna do this or have already done it or are gonna copy me and I frankly couldn't care less. There are so many good dudes in knife making. I love seeing guys take stuff that's neat and kind of make it their own. I mean, that's kind of the whole kind of creative human expression that I really like about humans. Because it's hard to do anything really original. Let me stop the machine just for a moment. I'm going to pull the tie flakes off there so I can place this next one real close. Some bitches are razor sharp. They got me a minute ago. I hardly ever get cut in the knife shop. Sometimes it happens. Alright, so I don't like that. Let's move over here and see how we like this. Alright, so now I think I've got everything placed that I want to place. Let's go down here. Now I'm going to do some overlaps, just kind of for fun. I like to reserve my deepest work for last. You'll notice those are some deeper depressions. Just kind of working the X and Y by hand. And you know, for guys who want something truly, you know, one of a kind, this is kind of cool. It doesn't look like it doesn't look like much till it starts to come together, but it actually kind of looks like something, you know. It's got a little kind of retro look. Reminds me of something you'd see on a uh, Art Deco facade in the 20s and 30s. What we'll do now is I, I started on a larger and went to a medium size. I'm going to step it down to the uh, next size smaller end. Now, this is the first time I've ever done this pattern. 
So it truly is random and custom. And it doesn't get more custom than having the guy who bought the knife standing right in front of you with a done $1,200 original knife plunging into it with a tool maybe ruining it. So it's, if there's anything I ever do that's slightly nerve-wracking, it's taking a done knife and kind of going into the, uh, for all you Trekkie fans, going into the undiscovered country. Hopefully there's not too many Trekkies out there. <sighs> The uh, sons of God, <laughs> hanging out, loving knives. I'm just kidding. I like Trekkies. Darth Vader's one of my favorite characters. <laughs> All right. So now we're going to go around and do some truly fast-paced small work. This is where we're going to get kind of finished look out of it. And guys will sit here and look at this shit for hours trying to figure out. I've tried to program this kind of thing before. And uh, the guy who was used to do my machining for me, he was just like, forget it, man. I am not doing this bullshit. And he just, he didn't want to, he's like, just give me numbers. <laughs> He didn't know, guys don't like random shit. <laughs> not, not machinists anyways. I'm like, I don't know, just kind of come up with a random. He's like, no, that's not what I do. I need an answer within a thousand. So I was like, all right. But it kind of makes it so that, you know, you, you'll never run into somebody who's got the same pattern. You see what I'm doing is I'm just trying to find the layers to give it some, uh, I don't know, to give it some texture. You know, at, at the end of the day, we're trying to make these things look cool, but, you know, really, you know, unless you're doing like, you know, some of the stuff that uh, the guys at Tough Thumbs do where they take them and make them kind of look kind of postmodern industrial uh, that's really cool uh, and it's just not what we're doing there for a second. sometimes you want to make something have a kind of elegant flash to it you know all right so now we've defined the parameters so you can see the edge really nicely. We're going to work our way in. Is that Michaela? It was. Hi, Michaela. That was Colin's wife scooting in and out of here. Hopefully, was she dropping off treats? Hi. She dropped off. Hi. You know, without sounding gross, it's so cool to have girls randomly drop pie off at the shop. <laughs> I like that. If you don't, if you know, if you don't uh, change it up much, it doesn't look random. So you gotta, you gotta really, uh, you gotta really kind of just be willing to, <laughs> no pun intended, take the plunge. Sweet. I don't know. It's got to be this way around the country right now. I know that Christmas lights are starting to come up, and I've got little kids, and they're all excited. So we're gonna go. I'll probably go rent a Jeep or something with no top on it, and uh, take my kids out and my lovely bride, and do a little tour around Phoenix, looking at Christmas lights. Kind of like to do that every year. When I usually I. Uh, I like to go flying around this time of year at night because it's uh, really pretty. It's not like 4th of July. Flying around at night, 4th of July is kind of uh, obviously, you know, maybe not the smartest move, but totally great looking. We're almost done here, and I think we've done something really kind of one of a kind unique, you know. But he's
he's not going to run into another guy carrying a fat daddy that looks like this. Almost done. Alright, so let's take a look at what kind of mayhem we've done here. Definitely, um, definitely kind of wild looking. The biggest question for us is going to be, now really the biggest question now is going to be what am I going to do to it? Am I going to go through and bead blast it and brush it, re-anodize the whole thing, make it subtle, drop it in in the background and hide it a little bit? Maybe that's what we'll do, so it kind of looks like the relief on a deco building architectural feature that's carved into the stone or concrete that might kind of look cool. So maybe that's what we'll do. Uh, when we get it done, we'll post another quick video to show you guys the outcome, but that's the process anyways. Have a good one, guys, and have a great turkey day.